Hi everyone, in this video which is part of the Node.js R2 series, we're going to be creating a WebSocket server. A WebSocket communication allows real-time communication between a client and a server without having to break the connection. They can both connect in real-time, data can be sent in real-time, received in real-time by the server and also sent back in real-time to the client. So it just creates this persistent connection between the client and the server where they can both send messages in real-time. So uh, to begin, we're going to first create our server. We're going to call this WS server.js. Now to create the WebSocket server, we're going to be using a WS library. We're going to be using a Node.js library called the WS library. I believe this just stands for WebSocket. So let's install that. Let's say npm install, no, install WS. Dum, 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 dum. Let's just wait for this. Oh yeah, before I even finish my statement, this has been installed. This has to be like the fastest NPM install ever. So um, we have AWS uh, library installed. Let's clear this. And now we can open our project in Visual Studio Code. So now that we have our project open in Visual Studio Code, let's start coding. We have a node modules folder because we installed that WS uh, library. So let's begin. Uh, let's open WS-server.js. And the first thing we're going to do is to bring in our WS library. So require WS. And I'm just going to destruct this library and extract the web socket server. Yeah, web WebSocket server. Extract WebSocket server. That's what we're going to need for our WebSocket server. And to create a new server, we're just going to say count server equals new WebSocket server and we're just going to pass an options object for which in this practice will only require us supplying a port number so we want this WebSocket server to run on port 5000 now that we have our server let's make it listen on the connection so we're going to say once a client makes a connection we're going to listen on the connection event this is the event that is triggered when a client makes a connection to this WebSocket server. This will take a callback, which gives us an undo to the socket. Say so socket and get an arrow function. And when the client is connected and the client sends a message, we can use the socket to listen on that message to the message event. The message event is triggered when a client sends a message. Most clients will send a message when they make a connection, others will send a message after the connection. But this is going to take care of both instances. So we're just going to say, um, get the data that was sent. It's not our functioning. And just print the data that was sent to the console. Message received from client data. Oh, this data is out. Oh my, there's so many things clicking all around here. Um, Stick that in. Let's call this back up and pull this aside. Yeah. So once there's a connection, we listen to the message event. And when the message is sent from the client, we just print the message to the console with this console.log statement. So that will be all for the server for now. Let's just save this and go to our command line and run our server. Going to ls. Our server is ws server. So we just say node ws server. No error is returned, so we're good. The server is currently listening on port 5000. I'm just going to open another tab here because we're going to need the client to call the server. So I'm going to open another tab. We have another terminal. And here we're going to create, first let's make sure we're in the right directory. Okay, we're there. And let's clear that out. Now we're going to create a client. I'm going to say touch ws client dot yes. Now back in VS Code, we can open the file explorer once again and open our client. Just as on the server, we're also going to be using our WS library for our client. So we we'll say const WebSocket equals require WS. So WS and um, we'll create a client variable. And this client is going to make a new connection using the WebSocket object and connect to using the 
WebSocket protocol, definitely. Using the WebSocket protocol, it's going to connect to localhost, port 5000. Because that's where our server is running, 5000. So it's going to use the WebSocket protocol to connect to our server, which is running on localhost 5000. So we have a client, and we're going to listen on the open event, which is the event that is called when a new connection is opened. And we're going to send a message to our server. Once we have the connection open, we're going to send a message to our server. And we're just going to say client dot send. Hey, WebSocket server, how are you doing? Good. Hey, WebSocket server, how are you doing? We're going to send a message to the server and just see what happens. If you can remember here in the server, we made sure that once a client sends a message, we print this message back to the client, we send this response back to the client with the data that the client sent. Let me just go back and make sure that I have this saved. We have this saved. Then we can go back to the other terminal where we have the client and run node WS client. We don't get anything back. Let's check the server terminal. Here we see message received from client. Hey, WebSocket server, how are you doing? Fantastic. We have been able to communicate to our WebSocket server. And now we're going to make our WebSocket server communicate back to the client. So let's just, um, let's kill this. Let's kill this. Oh no, sorry. Kill this and kill the client also. Oh, the client's already gone, so that's good. So um, we're going to make the server communicate back to the client. And we're going to make the client echo what the server sent. So let's go back to our server. So to make our server communicate with the client, we're also going to be using the socket, that's the connection socket. And we're going to use the send method of the socket and say, hello client, I have received your message. So hello client, I've received your message. We're going to, we're making the server communicate back to the client after receiving the message. And on the client side, we will make the client receive this message or rather respond to the message sent by the server. And to do that, we're just going to say client.on and we're going to listen to the same message event, which is also the event that is triggered on the client when a message is sent from the server. And we're going to get the message back in the form of data and say, okay. So what do we tell the server? We're going to say console.log I'm just going to say from server and just take the message in. So from server and say dollar sign data. Yeah, from server data. But in a real world situation, you want to do more with this. You might want to do some processing. You might want to send a notification. You might want to send another message back to the server. Anything your application needs to do, you can do it with the data gotten from the server. So let's save this from the client and let's also go to the server and make sure that everything is saved. So I'm going to go back to the command line. First, we'll run this server tab, right? Yeah, we'll run the server tab once again. Node server, so it's running because it didn't return any error. Then we'll go back to the client, run the client also. And we have no error, but now we get a message back from the server that says, hello client, I've received your message. And as we've seen earlier, the client sends the message first and the server says, message received from client, a WebSocket server, how are you doing? So in this video, we've been able to successfully create a WebSocket server and not just the server, we also created a client to communicate with the server and we've been able to demonstrate a two-way communication between the server and the client. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and for more bite-sized tutorials on Node.js and other technologies, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.